Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Air Tate Throws Nation, and in this video, what we are going to cover is the reason I don't care about fouls in training. Check it out. Okay, so in today's video, what we're gonna talk about, uh, a lot of times people are focused on not fouling in practice because they don't wanna create the habit that leads to fouls in the meet. That's a very good argument and it makes a lot of sense in many ways. However, one of the things I'm never really concerned about as a coach with the throwing chain reaction system is that we are concerned about fouls for the following reason. The basic principle of if we have an efficient transfer of momentum, which is when I'm gonna hit the shot or the discus, and when everything comes through clean, you're gonna see when the athlete reverses, they're gonna be coming around and there's not gonna be a lot of wasted energy. Holding the position in the ring is, is effortless. So the more efficient the thrower is through the finish, that means they're more on balance, they're more engaged, and so you're, you're not gonna have foul issues. So when I see athletes that are consistently coming out of the circle, whether it's the shot or the discus, and they're having big fouls, it's other things in our chain reaction that we need to clean up. So specifically, again, we're gonna go back Back to our pillar one, two, three. We're gonna look at our balance points. We're gonna make sure that we're setting up really nice balance positions that are gonna create, a, help us create a lot of speed moving into the middle of the throw. And then we're gonna make sure that, you know, our power position, our pillar five and our pillar six are properly engaging so that we're gonna create that really clean transfer. So you're gonna see that nice block and then you're gonna see a nice extension and everything's gonna come through on balance. If you take a look at like when Ryan Krauser won the Olympic gold in 2016, you're gonna notice he had a great series that day and his throws were really efficient. Last year in 2018, Darrell Hill had a massive series at the Diamond League Championship. Four of his of his legal throws were over 22 and he had two small fouls that were just that were also over 22 meters. But the point is you're gonna notice when these throwers are hitting everything really clean, there's not a lot of wasted movement after the throw. So one of the things, rather than training athletes to kind of start modifying bad positions to to save off position throws, you want to start understanding that it's about training the other mechanics that create the most efficient transfer of energy. And that is the speed of the athlete's body is transferred to the implement and technically that's how an implement flies far, right? So it's how fast the athlete can move and how much, how effectively they can transfer that energy to the implement, whether that's the shot put or the discus. So when you're out training, be sure to not get into the habit of if the athlete is in a bad position training them how to save a bad position rather start looking on why the bad position and why the foul is occurring again looking at that chain reaction we're going to see how we're going to fix that and that's why typically none of my throwers we've ever been really concerned with fouls in training we're looking at why they're fouling in the first place and when we fix that we fix the problem and we throw farther faster all right thanks so much for watching if you like this be sure to subscribe throw any comments down below and thanks and we'll see you on the next video.